The talk I want to give today, I'm going to expand on it this evening, is the foundations of fake science, incestuousness and reductionism. And this comes from some recent efforts that we just did. Some of you may know that there are various journals, scientific journals in the world. The number one journal in the world is a journal called Nature, N-A-T-U-R-E. And if you look at the millions of academics who work in all the universities out there, one of the pinnacles of the establishment's academic achievement is if you publish in Nature, you typically get a tenureship at a major university. Tenureship means you never have to work again, you get a professorship for life. Typically, people who publish in Nature are in academia. So they typically achieve, they get a professorship, they're working in academia, they know the editors, sort of insider trading. It's basically a very elite club who gets to publish in Nature. Unless you do extraordinary work that Nature must publish because they're afraid you'll go publish elsewhere. I chose not to be in academia and I chose to exit that and do stuff independently. And this is very, very rare. One of the other people who decided to do this was Kerry Mullis who won the Nobel Prize for the PCR test. He worked in a company. And academics are so insecure because they've never had to go outside and make their own way. When you're in an academic institution, you get health insurance, you get all the support, you get offices, you don't have to pay for electricity, you get desks and students, everything. You're given grant money. It's like you're a baby who's coddled. And in that coddled environment, you write your papers and you get a network. And then you have to play by their rules. And then they train people to revere academia and people talk a big game about academics. ALS is where your motor neurons do not communicate with your muscles. Now there's billions, hundreds of millions of dollars have gone into ALS research. So we just publish a groundbreaking paper in Nature. First of all, it's huge to get it into Nature. And I'm gonna to talk to you about how radically different it is. How much did we spend on this? Zero. Myself and our researchers at Cytosol did it on our own. For years, for decades, people have been studying the neuromuscular junction and the neighborhood of cells around it. That's called the neuromuscular junction microenvironment. And remember, hundreds, billions have gone into research to ALS foundations. Wealthy people give money because they have someone who lost their lives. We did this research for eight years in the midst of running for president, for Senate, and we didn't take a penny. What we said was that neuromuscular junction microenvironment shouldn't just include cells in that neighborhood, but it should also include the cells that go all the way through the motor neuron to your spine, which contains three other cells. So we expanded the definition of the neuromuscular junction microenvironment to a systems approach. We said, look, you can't just be looking like a stupid blind man, which we teach many of you. The reason we teach system science, we said, you can't just be narrowly looking at one little point. You have to look at the interconnections. This was pretty radical. We published this in Nature, in a new journal called Nature Systems Biology, which is within Nature. And the reviewers loved it. And we said, this is truly the NMJ microenvironment. It's not just what's occurring right at that muscle tissue, but you have to look all the way up to the spine. And we found three other cell types, astrocytes, microglia, and oligodendrocytes. It's a big achievement to get published in Nature, and I'll share with you the paper we published. Remember, all these other research institutions get paid hundreds of millions of dollars. Think about what we did. We got a paper published in Nature with zero funding. Think about all the money that goes into research. And we did this as an independent organization outside of academia. Watch the full video, like, share, and subscribe. Learn who the real enemy is at shattertheswarm.com. No one is coming to save you. Learn to save yourself at truthfreedomhealth.com. Be the light.